Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to my 31 Days of Horror in October, Day 3. Now today we're going to be talking about Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, the theatrical cut. And for all intents and purposes, I'm going to call this Halloween 6. Because <laughs> that's what it's mostly known for. Alright, Halloween 6 is a 1995 film which runs approximately 87 minutes. And is directed by Joe Chappelle. Now this stars Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis. Paul Rudd as Tommy Doyle. And Marianne Hagen as Kara Strode. Now the budget on this was $5 million, And this has a worldwide gross of $15.1 million. For such a messy film. <laughs> but I do love it. For some reason, this is one of the top movies in my Halloween franchise. It always has been, and it probably always will be. Even though there are some things in it that really don't make a lick of sense. Okay. This is the latest part of the Cult of Thorn trilogy, where you find Jamie is held prisoner by the Cult of Thorn. She is given birth, and... One of the nurses helps her escape, or at least that's what we're led to believe. Gives her her baby, and she tries to escape Michael Myers. Michael's tracking her down. Kills Jamie, but is still after her baby. Tommy Doyle, who lives right across the street from the original Myers house has been tracking Michael Myers for years. Of course, he's played by Tommy Doyle, the same Tommy Doyle that was babysit by Laurie Strode in the original Halloween, just played by a different character. When Tommy finds the baby, Michael is now, and the man in black, let's not forget about him, <laughs> are all after the baby in order to control evil, which is Michael. I'm going to pretty much leave it there. Um, there's, of course, more to the story, but it's in bits and pieces, and, of course, it's really extremely messy. But I will say, this is the movie, for me, when Michael became scary again. I don't know whether it's his look, if it's the mask, or his robotic movements. Now, I saw this in a theater by myself when it first came out. Of course, a theater that's not there anymore, just like with H2O. Actually, a different theater that's not there anymore. <laughs> We've had them come and go around me for quite some time now. But I remember leaving the theater, which I was one of the only ones in the theater, of course, walking to my car at nighttime and looking over my shoulder because... This movie just creeped me out. It did. Michael was finally scary again. After part five, which I do like, but Michael's really kind of not, in my opinion, he's not really scary in that one. It wasn't until four, when four came on, Michael was scary. I didn't like the mask, but, you know, he was still done well. It just so happens that four and six have the same person playing Michael Myers, George Wilbur. And he did a fantastic job. So definitely check this one out. We are going to be talking about the producer's cut. So stay tuned and also stay tuned for day four. If you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.